If you want to know the differences between Create Studio and Create Studio Pro, I'm going to be walking you all throughout this video with some demo, so stay tuned. The good news is, if you have Create Studio lifetime license, you can also access Create Studio Pro and vice versa. At least that's how it goes from the time I filmed this video. Now, for us to see both software's features differences, we're going to be producing a promotional video for an e-commerce store without having to access the All Access Pass. First thing you'll see and has totally caught my attention are the easy preview of all the templates. And then when you create a new project, you will find themes to help you get started with your video. But for this demo, let us start with a blank page. All right, so here we see that we can quickly change the size format. And then on the lower part is the editing mode. We could switch to lower quality while editing to make the response time even faster. And then on the left side are all your media files, including the stock footage from Pexels. Pixabay and other third-party app. And then the studio, which has all types of backgrounds, characters, let's pick a gradient background to put onto our video for now. I find it much organized with more options to choose from. And look at these components. I like this progress bar over here, which moves along with your entire video. And you can easily drag and drop it onto your timeline. I also want to make use of this carousel. I think it will really look good to showcase several products. Now, before I continue editing with Pro version, let's make a quick comparison with Create Studio's previous dashboard. With the original version of Create Studio, you have your list of projects saved in your account. Then once you go to store, you could see the templates. But most of them requires an all access pass. So let's move on to creating a project. On first glance, it actually looks so simple and easy to use. But this is what also made me hooked with Create Studio since the beginning. Because you only have the media and studio at the left side. And on the right are all the settings to customize your video. But the only part that starts to get a little confusing is when you click the studio, because the images are too big, and with the text smaller, it kind of distracts you, so you would focus on the images instead. And so getting to what you really need, like for me now, I'm looking for devices, it can be a bit time consuming. I just really hope in their next update, Create Studio will add a search bar even on the Pro version. I mean, to make the elements more searchable, especially if they keep adding more to it, scrolling through categories one by one will really take time. Okay, now on to the editing part. I'm going to quickly show you my entire editing process and then we will be previewing both at the end of the demo.
My final thoughts based on our editing process and final output. First of all, I am so in love with all the features and all the new updates of Create Studio Pro. I really like that we can switch to low editing mode during the entire editing process because if you've watched my very first review on Create Studio, it's the one main thing that I was too concerned about because having a slow response time makes it more difficult for us editors, especially when we want to preview the video while editing. Also, I think the built-in components make it so much easier for me to create the type of video that I want, even if I'm starting from scratch. It makes the Create Studio Lifetime License much, much more useful, especially when creating explainer videos and promotional videos for your business. Because now, Create Studio is not just a character explainer video, but a pro editor, which could cater a lot of businesses who need scroll-stopping video ads for their campaigns. What I only like to keep from the first version of Create Studio is the text editor. I find it much simpler and easier to use for adjustments, especially when adding borders on the text. Other than that, I'm totally recommending Create Studio Pro, but that's if you want your videos to look more attractive and engaging. That's all I've got for you today. Feel free to try a Create Studio Pro, I'm linking it down below on the description box. It comes with a money back guarantee, so in case you didn't like it, you can always apply for a refund. And if you want to learn more about content creation tools and how I monetize my content, grab a copy of my free content creation toolkit as also written in the description box. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on updates.